looks like I'm always looking down. I'm, I'm really trying to learn uh, the camera, my camera. Nana, God bless you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Um, Anon, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Listen, do me a favor, send out some hearts and uh, invite uh, others to come and join us. Lorenzo, thank you for joining us this morning. Shabbat Shalom. Today is the seventh day, and uh, it's been my uh, personal pursuit to observe uh, Shabbat on the seventh day because in Genesis chapter 1, it says, hey, my son Quincy is on. Prophet Shante is on. Thank you for joining us this morning. <clears throat> uh, some months ago, uh, the, Lord, the Lord told me to start observing, to start keeping Shabbat. Now, I know a lot of people, they have these religious hangups about Shabbat or Sabbath. And, and Shabbat is the Hebrew word for uh, Sabbath. But actually... Uh, Shabbat is not a religious observance. God, uh, after God created the heavens and earth well, for six days, on the seventh day, it says God ended his work and he rested, all right? And so the Lord, the Lord told me, he said, you, you've been studying, you've been studying Shabbat, and now you need to start keeping. And so I've been keeping Shabbat uh, since September of last year. And, um, and I'm, I'm, you know, these are the three things that I do personally on Shabbat, which is Saturday on our uh, schedule. Uh, number one, <clears throat> it, it's I, I agree with God, okay, because God did it, and then God, God told us to keep it. And so whenever you do what God, what, it, what, what God does, <clears throat> that's agreement, Agreement creates uh, synergy. It, it creates synergy. It creates uh, it, it creates synergy. That, that's 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 a good word. I was looking for another word, but when we agree with God, it brings alignment between heaven and earth. The things in heaven aligns with the things in earth. We are we are in the earth, but we are of the heavens. Okay, and so one of the ways that we manifest heaven is by agreeing with God. So by keeping Shabbat, number one, I'm agreeing with God. I'm walking with God. God rested on the seventh day. Uh, he ended his work. So I've, I've ended my, uh, I've, I'm ending my work. So I'm not, I'm not working today, okay? The second thing I do for Shabbat is I build myself up because see, Shabbat is really about refreshing yourself and God gave, even gave me a revelation as I was studying Shabbat uh, last fall God says Shabbat is really about refreshing yourself for the next week and so we end our work cycle today we refresh ourselves you do the things that you know builds you the things that's going to edify you I'm going to the gym later on today because I haven't been to the gym in a couple of weeks that's building my body uh, I'm going, I'm reading today. I, I, I do a lot of reading on Shabbat because, uh, and reading for enjoyment. Thank you, uh, Jay Brock for joining us this morning. Uh, I read for, on Shabbat, I read for enjoyment. Now I've got a bunch of work. I brought, uh, manuals from my job because we're starting our summer uh, session this Monday. So I also have to read to prepare myself for work, but on Shabbat, I read for enjoyment. So I got a book from the library, uh, one of my favorite series of all time. So that's how I observe. I build myself up. I do the things that refreshes me, the things that I enjoy doing. And then the second, the third thing I do during Shabbat is I look for God. I look for signs of God's intervention and God's presence in my life. So I look for God. So there's an expectation in Shabbat for God to move because I'm keeping this day. All right, so uh, I want to really, uh, I want to really, you know, encourage you to keep Shabbat. And you don't have to be religious. It's not about going to church on Saturday or becoming, you know, religious. That's not what it's about. There were no, there were no people in the earth when God kept Shabbat, when God rested on the seventh day. 
So there was no Jews, there was no Christians, uh, there was no human beings. And so God established this pattern of Shabbat because Shabbat is, is a, it's, it's one of the keys that causes you to prosper. If you're always working and you never rest, you won't prosper. That is a, that is a poverty mentality. I got to keep struggling. I got to keep hustling. I got to keep working. And the more you work, the less you have. Because, because Shabbat is about ending a work week so that you can enter uh, into the blessings of God and the prosperity that God has for you. Okay, so uh, I want to give, give the word today. Today is day 13. Today is, thank you, thank you, Janice. Good to have you on this morning. Uh, today is day 13 of 21 days. We got eight more days in this 21 day challenge or emphasis that God uh, spoke to me uh, uh, 14 days ago. God says, I want you to lead my people in 21 days to Pentecost, which is Sunday, June the 12th. And so what we've been doing is we've been giving prophetic words and, uh, you know, just encouraging you to, because one of the things God said he would do, do during these 21 days God said that he would uh, develop a harvest mentality in his people because Pentecost is a harvest feast. And so we are now in the season of harvest, okay? Whether that's natural, um, whether it's physical, uh, financial, spiritual, prophetic, whatever it is, God really wants you to pursue harvest, harvest, okay? And uh, and I've been having my own challenge, and in, in, uh, because there's been there's been a thing that God told me to do. I've been trying to do it. Uh, there's a free book that I've gotten. I've been sending it out and trying to get uh, people into this course that we're going to be doing on breakthrough. And uh, and I've been going through great amounts of warfare, but. I'm believing God for the harvest, and so we're just going to keep on doing it. So I believe every word, every one of these 13 words, and you can go back uh, and read the words, or you can listen to these broadcasts on uh, on my YouTube channel, Bernard Bolton. Uh, I, I haven't been broadcasting every day, but several of the days that I did broadcast, I uploaded to... Uh, my uh, YouTube channel, but the th but the thing is, if you go to my website, creativeawakening.us, uh, I have a word for each one of these days, and I believe in each one of those words, there is a principle for harvest, to develop a harvest mentality in us, okay? Uh, and so, what is harvest? Harvest is the abundance, it is the result of the seeds you have sown, it is the uh, it is the result of your work, okay? And so here's the here's the word. And listen, this this word is so exciting uh, to me because I just got it last night. God gave me this word last night. I was watching one of my favorite all time movies. I've been watching this movie probably since I was six years old. I don't even remember. But uh, when I was a child, uh, it would only come on once a year. And so I could only watch it once a year, but it was one of my favorite movies. And so one year I was about 10 or 11 and I had, I, would, I had gone to Mississippi with my grandma. She would go home every August. She's from Mississippi. So she would go and she would take some of, a, some of the grandchildren from Ohio. And so this particular year I was, I was selected to go uh, with her and this movie came on while I was in Mississippi. And so I was staying, uh, we were staying uh, with my grandmother's sister, my great aunt and her and my grandma's brother-in-law and uh, they were raising my first cousin. And so she ruled the TV. And so I was determined to watch this movie. So I did a lot of deception and manipulation to get her to, cause she wanted to watch something else, but I wanted to watch this movie. Uh, and I just had that memory today. I was, I mean, I was, I was being Jacob. I was being the deceiver, the supplanter. And I don't know what I did or what I said, but I got her to, uh, to give me the TV for that, for that, for that two hours. But I was watching this movie last night, Willy Wonka and the, and the, 
Chocolate Factory, all right? My all-time favorite movie. And while I was watching the movie, while I, yeah, that, that is, that, I, that's a funny story. While I was watching the movie, God gave me this word. He gave me this word, so I wrote it. I wrote it down in my phone while I was watching Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Here, so here is the word. Here is the word from the Lord for June 4th. I am the God who creates, says the Lord. My breath is creative, blowing life and form over what I have called from deep places. I have made you creative. You are a builder. You have the DNA to shape, make, and create. You are my gift in the earth. Explore and discover what I have gifted you to bring forth in the earth. All of heaven rejoices when you create what you were ordained to do. Wow. I love that word. I love that because I love creativity. God has called me to creativity. He's given me a voice. He's given me a message to, to reach creative people, to stir who you are, okay? Because you have the God DNA in you and you was created to create. And so whatever it is that God is calling you to do, God, God says today, he is blowing on your creativity. He is forming. See, creativity is really a partnership with God uh, because we are expressing the God in us when we create. We are expressing the God. Yeah, glory to God. We are expressing the God in us when we create. So, uh, God, so God says in this word today, he says, explore, okay? Explore and discover what he has gifted you to do. Uh, part of my creativity is writing. My my major gift, uh, creative gift, is writing. But I but I have so many other abilities like uh, like speaking. Right now, this is uh, speaking to you on Periscope. Periscope is a creative gift, and then, and so creativity is the expression of God. Okay, and uh, God says you are a gift in the earth, and God wants you to be creative today. All right, so go out today. Uh, well, not today, because you need to really, you need to, you need to observe Shabbat. So do something today that's going to refresh you and that's going to build you up. And then when sundown comes, because Shabbat is from sundown, is from sundown Friday to sundown Saturday, then you go ahead and discover what your creative gift is and create, 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 create. You was created to create. You are the gift in the earth. God has placed in you projects, gifts, ideas. You are creative. Go out and create today. All right. God bless you. We'll see you on our next Periscope.